Grab your popcorn as we recap this movie about two men kidnapping an innocent woman in exchange for millions of dollars. The movie begins with two ex-convicts named Vic and Tom. They are hot wiring a van and stealing it. Later, Tom changes the license plates. At a store, they get some heavy machinery and head home. Once at home, they do some renovations on an apartment by sealing up the windows and doors. Later, they prepare a metal bed. At night, Tom and Vic head into the woods and later prepare their van. When they are dressed, they pack some ammunition and head out. In the stolen van, both men wait patiently in masks. Soon after, a lady named Stella walks by, and they cart her into the back of the van and drive off. As they carry her into their building, she protests, but they ignore her whimpers. They take her to a bed and chain her to it. They soon strip her clothes and take pictures of her, with her mouth gagged. Shortly after, they come to ask for her father's email address and cell phone number. As they leave, Stella continues crying. When they leave the room, Tom seems shaken and Vic asks him if he is fine. They soon send the pictures to her father's email. Later, Vic leaves and orders Tom to check on her regularly, which he does. Hours later, Vic arrives and informs Tom that they haven't gotten a reply to the email they sent. They go into the room to give her water, and Vic informs her not to scream or bite when he takes the gag out. Otherwise, they'll have to sedate her. He also informs her they don't want to hurt her, but they are ready to do it at any moment. When she tells them she needs to pee, they bring a container for her to pee into, despite her protests. Later, Tom seems to be in deep thought. As he joins Vic to eat, he keeps playing with his food because he's not hungry, and Vic forces him to eat it. Vic mentions that his emotions are suppressing his appetite, and he has to stop overthinking. After the pep talk, Tom's appetite seems to get better. Vic leaves again and tells him to check up on her so she doesn't suffocate from the gag. After Vic leaves, Tom looks through the pictures they took of Stella, but he looks distressed. He goes into her room and tries to touch her, but hesitates. She tells him she wants to take a crap, and he gets her a bucket. He releases her from her binds, leaving only one hand chained, and orders her to take a crap, while holding her at gunpoint. She begs him that she can't take a crap while he's looking and asks him to turn around. When he does, she hits him with the bucket and picks up the gun when it falls down. She shoots the gun and uncovers his mask, but finds out that she knows him. She asks why he had kidnapped her, and he tells her it's because she messed up his life. He successfully takes the gun away from her and restrains her. He wants her not to tell Vic she knows him, so he doesn't bury her. Soon after, Vic arrives and tells Tom that her father doesn't want to pay. Vic tells Tom to try to get some rest, while he keeps watch on Stella. Later, Vic wakes Tom up and tells him to get the camera, as they go to meet Stella. Vic tells Stella that they are going to amputate her left pinky finger, to give her father some incentive to pay. Stella cries into the camera and tells her father she's pregnant, staring at Tom. Vic attempts to cut the finger off, but Tom tells him that's enough. Outside, Vic tells Tom never to make a decision like that again since he's in charge. Vic replays and edits the video before he sends it out. Meanwhile, Tom listens in and looks worried. As they head back into the room, Tom heads in without his mask, until Vic reminds him of it. When they get in, Vic attempts to give Stella food, but she requests that Tom feed her, until Vic insists. Tom notices the bullet shell from his previous altercation with Stella on the ground and doesn't know how to pick it up without Vic noticing. Stella keeps staring at Tom, and Vic asks Tom what is wrong, to which he says nothing. Tom attempts to step toward the bullet, but Vic starts to get cautious and tells him to step back. When the spoon accidentally falls next to the bullet, Tom hurriedly picks it up along with the bullet, before Vic notices. When they get outside, Vic asks Tom what's wrong and tells him to pull himself together. Tom heads into the restroom and flushes the bullet down the drain. As he's about to leave, he notices that the bullet did not go into the drain and tries to flush it twice more. But it still doesn't go. As his luck would have it, Vic notices all the noise and asks him what is going on. So Tom picks the bullet out of the toilet. When Tom doesn't come out, Vic breaks into the toilet and Tom hurriedly swallows the bullet. Tom tells him the toilet is broken, and Vic says he doesn't smell anything, but Tom says he has good digestion. Vic tells him what's going on with him is due to the adrenaline, and tells him to calm down. Vic assures him they'll pull it off and be stinking rich. After Vic leaves again, Tom goes to check the calendar and realizes Stella is lying about her pregnancy. He goes to confront Stella, who tells him to feel her stomach. He tells her he doesn't feel anything and is certain she's lying. She tells him she didn't tell him about it because he was gone and in prison. Tom explains that Vic was his cellmate and they had been planning this in jail. So he suggested her name since her father is rich. Tom confronts her for never coming to see him in jail, 
but Stella tells him to stop blaming everyone else since he promised to stop his criminal acts. She tells him she knew he was bad for her and her baby. She tells him to confirm her doctor's appointments on her phone. As he attempts to put the battery in the phone, he realizes she may be luring him to turn the phone on so the police can track it. He hears her choking and goes to release her, and she vomits. Later, they both start to make out, and Stella chains him to the bed. He begs her not to leave, but she doesn't listen. Outside the room, Stella realizes the entire place is bolted in. Meanwhile, Tom tries to retrieve his key and free himself. Stella finds a cell phone and calls the Berlin police, while Tom warns her that she'll get them both killed. On the phone with the police, she tells the police to hurry, but they tell her to try to get the key since she doesn't know her location. When she gets back in the room, she reaches for the key, and Tom tells her he knows he messed up, but begs her to rethink. She comes close to pick up the key, so he knocks her out with a kick and frees himself. Later, he restrains her in the bed and goes to clean everything up. Soon after, Vic arrives and Tom tells her she threw up and is now resting. Vic tells him that her father's bringing the ransom, and they have to take her to the coordinates. They both discuss how they'll soon be rich, and Vic tells Tom he's going to Mexico, and asks Tom to think about following him. They both proceed to finish what they started. In the van, Tom notices a pregnancy record that belongs to Stella and realizes she's telling the truth. Meanwhile, Vic goes to free Stella but finds a burner phone on her. Vic asks her where she got the phone, and asks why Tom gave her the phone. When he pinches her, she screams out his name, and Vic asks her how she knows his name. Vic guesses that Tom had given her the phone. He finds a part of the bullet that was fired during their altercation earlier and asks her how the bullet ended up there. When he threatens to kill her, she reveals what had happened and tells him that Tom is her ex-boyfriend. Vic believes that Tom must have told her his name and knocks her out when she tells him she doesn't know it. Later, Tom arrives and Vic lets him in. Tom notices a gun with Vic and Vic says they'll need it in the mission, which gets Tom worried. Vic asks Tom why he had suggested Stella's name for this kidnapping, and Tom lies. Vic mentions that Stella was acting weird earlier and asks Tom to tell him that they are being honest with each other, which Tom confirms. In the room, Vic pumps some anesthetic into Stella and they take her into the van. Soon after, they head to the exchange point. When they get close, they camp in another abandoned building and restrain Stella. Vic tells Tom to accompany him to get the money, but Tom says the plan was for him to stay with her. He asks Tom to come with him to counter any surprises. Tom asks what Stella's fate will be if they don't return, but Vic says he doesn't care what happens to her if they don't pull this off. He mentions how he thinks they should kill her so she can't identify them with their voice, and Tom reluctantly agrees. Vic and Tom drive towards the handoff. Tom gets suspicious of Vic, so Tom puts the battery into Stella's phone so the police can track them. When they get to the exchange point, Vic orders Tom to go pick up the money while he waits. When he gets to the spot, Vic holds him at gunpoint, and Tom confesses to having told Stella Vic's first name and where they met. Tom distracts Vic by telling him about the first time they met in prison and runs away. Vic spots him and shoots him, but doesn't find the body. Meanwhile, Tom hides somewhere and nurses his gunshot wound. In the abandoned house, Stella wakes up and starts to scream. In the city, Vic goes to pick up the bag of money in the real coordinates. He heads back to where they kept Stella. Meanwhile, Tom trudges towards the building. Later, Vic attempts to end Stella's life by injecting her with poison. As he attempts to do so, Tom hits him from behind. Vic shoots Tom and tells him that he liked him, but he ruined everything. As he goes to finish off Tom, Stella makes him trip which gives Tom the chance to shoot Vic. Tom finds a way to get the keys to Stella, and she releases herself. Stella goes to hold the dying Tom in her arms till he goes into the light. Later, Stella finds Vic's car in the woods. She cries uncontrollably because of what she had just experienced. She sees the money and laughs. Soon after, she drives far away to build a new future for herself and her child with the money. At least Tom had redeemed himself by the end of the movie. He saved his wife and his child. Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like. It really helps the channel.